so I'm just going to listen to your lungs, okay? For several years, hospitalized heart failure patients have had access to better medications and quality of care. The percentage of those patients surviving their hospital stay went up, but the length of time they spent in the hospital dropped from almost 10 days to six. At a time when we were focusing on shortening that length of stay, we might have been actually worsening some of the outcomes for patients. Those outcomes occurred within 30 days after leaving the hospital. What we found was that the risk of dying increased. The risk of needing to come back to the hospital because of worsening clinical condition increased. The need for nursing home care increased. They were losing ground in this period. Outcomes were worsening. Dr. Harlan Krumholtz from Yale University School of Medicine and co-authors studied more than six million fee-for-service Medicare beneficiaries hospitalized for heart failure from 1993 to 2006. There was a 50 percent increase in sending people to nursing homes. Also, there was a marked increase in the amount of times people needed to come back to be re-hospitalized. So that was about almost a 20 percent increase. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We can't just focus on what happens in the hospital. From a patient's perspective, they care about success in the hospital. They care about success after they get home. We didn't do so well over the last 14 years in improving the outcomes at that critical juncture. Strength is coming back. This study and others like it and Medicare measures are focusing us on the importance of this time when they're leaving the hospital and on the need for directive actions that are going to help them be successful and be able to stay out of the hospital and stay healthy once they leave. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.